Um, I think the thing is as well is that that some women do set out to have it all mm. is are the women I'm thinking about. I've met women along the way, really high-powered women who go, oh yeah, I've got two kids as well, but you know I've got a night nanny and a day nanny, yeah. and I've and I've met kids mm. who go, oh no, I, I live with my nanny and my mum's away for three months and all of that. And I have to say. I do get judgmental at that point because I think, you know family. what, you just wanted it so you had it. You want to go, I've got kids, but in actual fact, you don't want to be there for any of it. Well, I don't know the circumstances of those women. I, I, I don't, do. They I want don't, it all. They I, want the high power. Well, for me, wanting it all, to say but got perhaps kids. we just need to define what to all it means. What I want, I, and, I, and I work very hard, is I want to be financially independent. I want to be able to use the skills that I've had from university and work and life and experience. And I want to show my daughter, I go to work, I work very hard, and, and I'm there for her as well. That's for me. I have got it all. And, and I'm think. so lucky and I work hard. Which I thought was really interesting, and I think girls should be taught this, and boys actually. We need to educate boys as well that women shouldn't also then be doing everything when they get home if you're sharing parenting. <laughs> 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 saying that girls needed to be realistic about the decisions they make and they also shouldn't be criticised for choosing yes, one path over exactly. the other. That's and I think women now I often think. feel awkward mm. about saying, actually, I'm quite happy to stay at yeah. home and bring up my children. Yeah, that's and she, that's she, 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 didn't, she didn't have children no. because she felt that it wouldn't fit in with the job that she was doing, which obviously was, was very demanding. But I just think that, you know... Having it all is the, is the thing I have a problem with. I don't like that phrase, and I think it gets thrown at us all the time, but we are the ones with the womb, and sometimes we don't want... You know, we yeah. have the babies, and we might have a husband who says, I'll tell you what, I'll give up work, yes. and you go out and work, you know, all the hours God sent to pay the bills, and we don't want that. We, you know, we want to be with our children mm. when, when we mm. can manage it. Well, so. uh, thanks for your emails. Fran says, I know loads of young mums who work and go to college and juggle family life now. If you have the ambition to do well, then you will. Uh, Leanne says, what gives teachers the right to tell any student what they can and can't have? They should stick to providing an education, leave the bringing up of children to their parents. Mm. T says, I've managed to raise three children on my own and I've worked all the way through. Um, you, <coughs> excuse me, you build your career so your children can have the best start. It's silly to choose when it's perfectly possible to do both in today's day and age. Thank you very yeah, much for your comments. That got us all going, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs>